So these trying economic times have actually placed a lot of people into positions where you, you wouldn't believe how many people live in the, live in the woods. And I mean, I, I guess it's easier for them to be there than to be seen and to be a problem for anybody else that would have to conscious, consciously deal with it. So, you know, as long as they're not in anybody's way, most people would say, we're fine. But the depravity of those conditions lower the morality of certain people to the, the degree that the things that they do are probably well beyond your fathoming and, 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 and you may comprehend the activities but you may not you may not comprehend you know the depths or the limits or beyond the limits that they go so I mean in order to, to try to say it in a real nice way some people have uh, devolved into a state of uh, I would question the humanity of it all I would question their humanity and because of that they would pretty much be a liability to anybody that would uh, represent you know even a facsimile of normality and if they had their way they would convince everybody that their uh, abnormal or aberrant way of living is normal. And it, it never will be in terms of, you know, like I say, uh, it's all good to be like, you know, living, but man, I'm gonna tell you, it's, it's, I'm gonna tell you, to me, it reminds me of that movie, Wrong Turn. It reminds me of that movie, Wrong Turn, where it was like, you know, the things that were going on out there was, you know, and then, and, and, then, and then the hills have eyes to the extent to which, you know, if, if no one sees it, the hills have eyes, but at least the hills have eyes because everybody else apparently doesn't have any, they don't have any eyes to see it, but they don't want to see it. Some, some people blind themselves to what they don't want to see. And I thought I was doing that, but I realized what I'm doing, I'm keeping myself out of trouble. Everything that look good ain't always good for you. It's almost like the monsters. Have you ever seen the monsters where they had Maryland? The rest of them you can see them, but Maryland will fool you. You would see Maryland and be like, ooh, Maryland, ooh, Maryland. Maryland carried those genes too. So <laughs> and Maryland was an example of Marilyn Monroe. Maryland represented Marilyn Monroe, Norma Jean. It's funny how they actually were doing that back then, even with the monsters. So I, I just that just occurred to me just now. That the Marilyn Monroe, I mean the uh, the Maryland from the monsters, that was Marilyn Monroe, Norma Jean. Where it's like every now and then they'll have one that might make it out of, you know what I'm saying, out of the, you know, she was the cream of the crop, so to speak, so, you know, but I mean, it's really funny. It, it ain't funny, but it's, it's, it's peculiar. Like the purple pomegranate, it's peculiar in the sense that, I mean, I'm going to tell you, it's like, to me, I, I don't want to be premature, but water has to go through, you know. A certain, a certain rapper, Aesop Rock, said, he said, the water ain't safe, the land's made of water. But at least you know what the water is. You know the water. But sometimes the land can deceive you. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna negate one over the other, you know what I'm saying, or two. I'm just saying that to a certain degree, the deception is what gets people to a certain, you know what I'm saying, it's that deception. It's almost like if, if, if I'm an undercover police officer, and someone asked me, well, are you an undercover police officer? I don't have to tell them until they ask me. Like, until they ask me, I don't have to say anything. But if they ask me, I'm under oath to be like, well, hey, you know, you got me, yeah. Yeah, I am, yeah. So, you know, we know not because we ask not, but we have not because we ask not. And I'm one of those people, too, where I don't like asking somebody for nothing, you know? Because, I mean, it's just, I, it, it's pride. It's pride, but it ain't nothing wrong with pride when you're right. The word pride, pride, pride is like a bride. You gotta be right about it. You know, you gotta be right about it. And sometimes we're wrong, but you gotta make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? He that would be wise, let him first be a fool. Because when you, when you appear to be wise, everyone that knows your wisdom will conceal their true intentions from you. But when you appear to be a fool, or when you appear to be retarded, you get to see all folks' true intentions. You get to see where they're really coming from. Like, like, if you're the president of the United States, everyone's gonna bow down and grovel to you. It is only when they feel like you have fallen and that you are gone 
like you know the beast that had the wound that appeared to be slain only 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 when you've gotten to a certain point when they think you're that you know you're like uh, a non-count or counting out only then will you see their true intentions and that will actually save your life in the long run like say 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 we had to get on a bus I'm thinking about Resident Evil, and they were on that bus, and Mike Epps was driving the bus. And it's like, you're on the bus, and you're like, well, you know what, man? I don't even want to be on the bus, but, you know, it's like, it's a survival technique mechanism. So then it's like, well, you know, you want to know who's doing what ahead of time. You don't want, you don't want to know late. So with me, like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's funny. I, I put it all in the Heavenly Father's hands, because, you know what I'm saying? There's no maliciousness in me. I'm, I'm not malicious. I'm actually non-malicious to my own fault, to my own detriment. But what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that it's like certain certain people, like I say, I've been deceived most of my life. Because the depths of it's not acting. For me, it's humility. But then when 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 it came to my attention, and I will say it was a, it was a I'm not gonna even I mean her gender. See, yeah, I just said that, I gave it away. But the fact that she even, you know what I'm saying, she she put me on to a, a, a frame of mind or way of thinking, you know, and, and, and I'm thinking, okay, so now I realize that, like I say, sometimes you don't want to be, you don't want to be the one that's always, you, you want, you want to know what they think about you. So you might have to actually drop your shields to a certain degree in order to find out what they think. So. It's almost like say you're young and then you get a movie, you know what I'm saying? You're old, you're senile or whatever, and people, then they start, you know what I'm Next saying? Stop. It happens in rest homes and stuff. And you, know, Boulevard. you end up in a rest home, and then, you know, you, 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 you devote your time and energy to certain children over others, you know what I'm saying? And then you realize that the ones you put your energy and your investments towards, those are the main ones that were able to deceive you for as much as they, they knew what you wanted from them, so they, they were able to feign or fake that. You know, and then when you need them, they're not there. You don't see them. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm more inclined to see the merit in, you know, fanning your weakness early. You know, like Sun Tzu said, he said, always appear to be wounded when you're not. You know, the Bible says, I'm made strong in my weakness. Like saying that where, where I'm apparently compromised or breached, therein is my defense for as much as there are those who if they ever knew the degree to which I appear to be fortified then I would be destroyed so you know I'm I'm more so inclined to cultivate the weakness because people's thoughts about me are not going to feed me their misconceptions about me may do me better than that than their actual you know what I'm saying than them really knowing you know what I'm saying so that works better for me Next stop. And it's Bowling funny. Road I'm, not a, Road. I'm not a misogynist. But I really realize that women, man, when they know their power, man, if you don't succumb to it, then they'll flex it. They're like, yo, turn the amps up, amplify it. And it's funny how the women that have that power, they'll 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 use that power against every other man, but they'll give it to one man. They'll 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 use it against every other man, but they'll give that power to one man. And that one man is the main one that knows that she's weak and foolish for giving him that power. He knows that. He knows that. It's, it's odd. He knows that. So, I mean, it's one of those things where I just feel like a lot of people, well, I ain't going to say people. But then if I didn't say people, that's like saying that they aren't people. But I, so I just say a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, they've got to a certain point where... They don't understand that in certain situations, being self-sufficient is good, but it's not always an option. So if indeed you are able to do for yourself, you know what I'm saying, then by all means do. And that's where I am right now. And it's funny to me because I've been through so many phases for the past few years. And it's funny because I'm going to tell you, when I was first going through my phases, Next I was being criticized. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I realized that a lot of people are following in my footsteps. I did notice that early on. I'm like, yo, wherever I go, I find somewhere where there's nobody at. Next thing you know, everyone's there. 
So I keep on moving. I keep on moving. I'm, I'm like osmosis or Moses. I move from an area of high concentration to low concentration where nobody I'm is. I'm always going with it. Hold on. I'm going to take a, a cologne break. Because one thing about me is that I'm really big on certain odors. I remember there was a movie where these things would scent mark you. I want to say it was Mimic. In Mimic, they were like human praying mantises. And what they would do is they would actually spray a pheromone on you. And if they didn't kill you, then the females would come in. And that I don't want. So I'm real big on that for as much as I like to you know, decontaminate myself. And for as much as it's an option, I will continue to do that. I will never not do that. I can always get dirty, but I can't always get clean. So I will never embrace any uncleanliness because cleanliness is next to godliness. You know what I'm saying? So like I say, I'm, I've been, I've been um, learning. I use my own. Next stop, I use my own. I, I try to keep alcohol on me. I don't always have alcohol, but I do have some. Um, I do keep a, a, a bottle of some uh, lemon. It's a nice lemon uh, fragrance, but it's but it's nothing that's like you know what I'm saying. This I should even show. I'm not gonna even show it. I'm like you know what? It'll be sold out. It'll be sold out. So next video coming up.